Well, good afternoon, everyone. I wanted to make a video on a purchase I had made for my bride. Let me go over here and show it to you on the screen. Hopefully, you can see that. It is called the National Tree Company Prelit Artificial Christmas Hanging Basket. And it says Tiffany fir decorated with frosted pine cones, berry clusters, white lights, Christmas collection, 20 inch. And what I find is interesting, let me try to zoom in on the price. I ordered this last week and it was $10, $13 cheaper. So I don't know what happened. So I'm glad I ordered it when I did. And the idea of ordering it was my wife loves the Christmas kissing balls. And, um, ooh, this might not work with this backlit. So let me back up a little bit and pull the curtains down some. Because I want to do a um, review on how it comes. This is how it comes from Amazon. That's not my shipping label, so don't be trying to read who I am where I'm from. But anyway, um, I saw very few uh, unboxing videos and how it came, so I wanted to do one. But anyway, getting back to why I got this was because my wife likes the Christmas hanging Christmas kissing balls they're called. They're usually 14 inch, but what has happened over the years, she's actually never gotten one, but what's happened over the years is they've gone up in price incredibly. Just to buy one now, they average $40 for one hanging ball. Um, and it, it's real, which is good, but the problem is it's going to die. And I was asking my wife, you know, do you think they make any artificial kissing balls? And um, so I did start doing some research and found this. It's a basket that actually hangs. Now you can see how it's kind of all mushed up and stuff. And that's understandable. It's artificial. But it's supposed to be pre-lit, as we saw over here. It is supposed to have lights and everything in it. So what I'm going to do, and I think if you look down there, it actually is supposed to have a timer in it. So let me take a break a minute, and I will go and uh, kind of pull it apart and come back and show you where we're at. All right, I got it all fluffed up. Here's a little power pack. And on the power pack, it says one timer, two off. It says requires three AA batteries, not included. Um, I can't read the rest. I'm going to read it. I think when you turn it on for the timer, oh, I see it says continually six hours with lights on, then 18 hours, lights off, and repeat until deactivated by pressing on and off button. So I'm going to assume when you put it on the timer it's going to go on, stay on for six hours and then turn off. So whenever you turn it on it will stay on. So say we do you know 4.30 because it gets dark here at 4.30 and then six hours till 10.30 and then it's just going to keep cycling until uh, the batteries die I guess. Well we're going to give it a whirl. They got this rubber uh, coating around the inside and a little there where nothing on this side where it should mesh and you close it but I think I'm going to put it in a Ziploc bag anyway and actually on the back is this little opening where things are not there the branches so I'm going to put it in there put it in a Ziploc bag now what's interesting is it came with no as it says over here um, Pine cones, clusters, um, I'm sorry, berry clusters. But if you notice the picture, it doesn't have them in it either. So I'm not sure how that works. Um, but again, you can always get artificial type um, cones or whatever to put in it. 
So, so far, let me just kind of close this. Let me back up so you can see it better. Let me just kind of close the battery pack. A little difficult with one hand. There you go. It's got these little snap things on it, which I don't know how well they will do. I can't close that one with one hand. And like I said, it will just fit in the back here. And then where's my chain? So it should hang up like that. And once we kind of get it up, once we kind of get it going, I'll show you where I'm going to put it outside. All right, I'll be back. All right, so we're outside now. I'll show you where I hung it. I put it right here on the shepherd's hook. So fluffed it up some more here so later I've got to go out and I'll be back afterwards so after dark I'm gonna hit the timer and we'll see how well it lights kind of looks good right there as you can see I kind of put it in the plastic bag in there so it'll be easy to get to just kind of pull it out now what I did do and it was a lot easier to kind of rearrange these boughs too once it was hanging up the other thing I did do was um I was going to put in rechargeable batteries, but I thought, no, I want to see how long regular batteries work. And I don't know if you can see the light right there. They're very small LED lights. Sorry for all the noise. As you can see, we're right on a main drag. Um, so, I'm just kind of trying to straighten these out because my goal is once, you know, the the season's done I can go and put it right in the garage just hang it up and leave it in there for the summer and just kind of bring it right back out and um, not have to mess with it all crumpled up and everything so so far I'm okay with it um, I did turn the lights on they lit but I want to do it later tonight so we can get a full effect um, I like the way it hangs it looks good right there on the on the shepherd's hook and um, if it goes well we get another shepherd's hook over here that we'll put another one on but I figured I'd put it on out there and uh, as you can see in our window we got candles the Christmas trees on that end so that whole end will be kind of lit up anyway, and that will be a good accent for outside. So, all right, I'll get back to you later when it gets dark and show you what it looks like then. See ya. Well, I wanted to show you the lit up basket. Unfortunately, my motion detector lights come on. But, uh, and plus I had a, I didn't get home till later than I wanted to, and it's about 6 o'clock right now, so... That's going to stay on till midnight or so, and we'll see. I'm not going to be up till midnight. But anyway, that looks nice. I'm happy with that. So my review about the basket, you know, if we find a few little pine cones or different things, we can doll it up ourselves. But I think it's going to work out good. We're going to get a little ice and snow maybe Sunday night into Monday, so we'll see how it holds up with that. All right, so hope you enjoyed the review. And we'll catch you later. See ya.